Michael Bolgioni of Italy and Chen Zhou of China will renew their rivalry here in the women's 150 meters individual medley. Those two have really been sharing the prizes this week. Two gold medals apiece, so something's got to give tonight. Patricia Valle getting a huge cheer, the 48-year-old uh, Mexican. We keep saying this is the last time we'll see her. <laughs> this, in theory, is the penultimate time we see her if she wins a medal. If she does, yeah. it's the last time we see her. Well, Mexico got a relay oh, team. Oh, a relay as well. So I wouldn't bet on oh. her being, not being in the relay team, but I don't know. We haven't no, seen we haven't the team been, uh, We haven't been given the teams now. But, uh, oh, you make a very good point, though. Well, we'll see. Se we, we've, sentiment, we've said our sentiment goodbye. over speed, maybe. <laughs> we've oh. said our goodbyes there twice already. <laughs> this is the third time. It might not even be there. You've you sent a card see. in the post as yeah, well, have you? Yeah, that's right. Well, I saw her earlier on. She's delighted to be retiring at the top. <laughs> Shavai go in lane two, two up from the bottom of the screen. Sonia Sigadar Dottir, closest to us. Deng Yo from China in lane three. Marco Borgioni in four. Cheng Zhao in five. Carolina Hamer from Poland in six. Veronica Tuarenko right at the top for Israel in seven. Well, where's this one going to go? Monica Borgioni and Cheng. Joe, they have had some cracking races this week. Two gold medals apiece. It's going to be difficult to choose a winner in this one. Yeah, and uh, I get the sense that unlike the men's event just a moment ago, this one will be not a one swimmer race, what they call it a horse, one swimmer race. And Denju in three might fancy herself for a medal as well. Already she's away from the rest of the pack, but look at these two already for Eye on stroke for stroke. Ogioni, Chen Zhao. To come to the wall, it will just be Chen Zhao, although Ogioni's time hasn't shown there, so uh, I actually think that Ogioni was slightly ahead. There seems to be a problem with the timing pad in four. We've been having a few manual times in that lane. So, 16 uh, time world gold medal winner is Patricia Valle, 16 of them. Uh, she's never going to finish with another, uh, but could she get a third medal in front of her home crowd? Got a long way to go before we wait. She's down in sixth, but again, as we saw in the men's events, each stroke changes things dramatically. What it hasn't changed is the similarity in speed between these two ladies, absolutely pushing each other along and level pegging it as we head down to the final 50 turn. Monica Boccioni will be pleased that she has a very slender lead over Cheng Zhao as they come into the final turn. Having said that, though, the Chinese swimmer just spurts ahead, and Cheng Zhao, that is one one hundredth of a second, the difference between the two. And they're coming down to the last 50 now. Monica Boccioni and Cheng Zhao, China and Italy going head to head. Cheng Zhao with that very long stroke. Borgioni with a high turnover for Italy. It looks like Cheng Zhao maybe has the edge. Can the Italian respond here as they come into the last 25? It is stroke for stroke. Cheng Zhao and Monica Borgioni absolutely together. So it's China against Italy. There was just 0 0.01 separating them at the final 15 meter turn. And nobody upon nobody would like to bet where this is going right here. And there's only six meters left to call it. Five now. It's Borgioni against Cheng Zhao at the wall who's got the longer touch. 2.41.67. Oh. But the lane four time hasn't come up. They're inside the world record. Both of them are inside the world record. But I am not going to call Cheng Zhao the winner here because Bozioni's time hasn't come up. We have to wait. Oh. What an agonizing moment. Bozioni's the winner. 2.41.52. She takes it in front of Cheng Zhao in 2.41.67. Oh. oh, as if he wasn't. As if he wasn't a brilliant enough race. We had drama right at the end as well. And the swimmers don't know about it because it hasn't appeared on the big screen yet. It just shows the time for Cheng Zhao. Monica Borgioni is not sure what's happened. No one is sure what's happened. All eyes on the big screen. We see it on our 
system that we have here, and it shows Borgioni as the winner in a world record time. Chang Zhao, an Asian record in second position, and the crowd and the swimmers are all waiting. It is a long, agonizing wait here. There's Patricia Valle, she's finished in fourth position, fifth position, in fact, for the great Mexican champion. Will that be the last time we see her in the pool? Well, we'll have to wait and see. But we've had that chat. Uh, there are still swimmers in the pool here in the lane one, which is closer to us. Uh, Sonia Sigurda Botir from Iceland is uh, still going. So too on the far side in seven uh, is uh, Israel's Veronica Gerenko. And, uh, well, Gerenko is uh, 90 years of age uh, and acquired. They might just have to wait for this final swimmer to finish before they can reset the board. Put that manual time in for Monica Borgioni. Yeah, they, that's probably what that absolutely delay is. So we are all waiting now for Veronica Gurenko to finish here. And Sonia Sogar Sigadar Dottier as well in this lane number one. We can't quite see her. There's Gurenko. Coming in now in lane number seven. Yeah, Grinko finishing here. She's uh, never done the 150 in international event pool, so that's a, a first for her. Let's turn our attention now to the other lady left to finish, just through the 25 metre marker. 27 year old Sonia Figura Dottier from yeah, Reykjavik. If, you, uh, if you are going to go to Iceland, Reykjavik's the place to go, apparently. There you go. Uh, she has competed at the Paras, the Worlds, and the Europeans. Uh, ninth place. Standing in the 150 in the Euros, uh, heat swims in the World Championships. Never did this elsewhere. And uh, well, it comes to 457.46 at the World Champs in 2015. Let's see what that comes up with at the end. There's a ripple of applause from journalists and people around alike. 539, somewhat slower than her last World Champions of adding in this event. And uh, when they reset the board in the venue, the Italian Boggioni will realize she's won. Nobody else does yet. There's uh, the lady that thinks she might have won because that's the information they've got inside the venue. This is an agonizing wait for the swimmers themselves. Boggioni is probably climbing out thinking, oh, I've lost it right at the end. And uh, there you go, they're on the big screen. That's what they can see. Boggioni, uh, but you can't see our screens, which is the official timing uh, from the timing partner. Monica Boggioni's time stands at 2.41.52. This lady thinks she's won. It's just been corrected as 6.21.57 <laughs> in the venue. Oh. That hasn't helped anyone because it's changed on the uh, scoring system. So uh, we're going to be in for a long old wait here. I get the feeling. Oh, no, it's not. It's not. I thought it was confirmed on the board, but it's not. Oh, my goodness. There's just something going wrong here in the stadium. And there's the finish, look at that! Well, Chen Jiao reached for the finish. God, blimey, that's really, really close finish between the two. And Borgioni and Cheng do not know what has happened. Real confusion here on this final day of competition. Well, there is a long way to come here. That is wrong. What you're seeing on your screen is not correct. Uh, so the only way Monica Borgioni could come seventh 